If you're like me, I hope you're not, <laughs> but uh, I'd say we're all a little bit alike, I suppose. Uh, each week we're challenged from the Word, and I appreciate that. I hope you do as well. We're challenged from the Word to become better Christians, to become followers, more close followers of our Savior Jesus Christ. And so if you're like me, you struggle perhaps um, with the decision, what should I be doing right now? And if our goal is to live within the will of our Savior, within the will of our Creator, and in the footsteps of Jesus, it means that each decision we make determines, are we on that path of the straight and narrow? Are we on the path that God would have us take? Or instead, are we following, maybe even unconsciously, are we following temptations that uh, have grabbed a hold of us? In, uh, in today's text from 1 Timothy, Paul reminds Timothy, godliness with contentment is great gain. And when I hear those words, I'm, I'm, uh, it, it makes things a little simpler for me. And it means that godliness, or following in our Savior's steps, as well as contentment, which means growing ever more secure in our faith and in the hope that we have in grace, in that grace from Jesus, means that things become more simple for us. Paul goes on to give us a lot of commandments Commandments that his Christ gave him as well, that we are to follow today. One of those commandments that we're given is simply to come around this table whenever we meet and partake of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And so contentment, in my mind, means follow those commandments. Jesus himself said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. He told that to his apostles right before he died and other times as well. And so this morning, as we gather around this table, we are simply, once again, following the commandment of our Savior, and that is to remember His body and His blood as a sacrifice given for our atonement, a price that we could not pay. Paul also, in another text, reminds us to examine ourselves and to say to ourselves, ask ourselves, what does it mean as I come before my Savior and it's most elemental form, as I come and partake of my Savior's body and blood, what does that mean is in, in my walk with Christ? How can I then be a closer follower of my Savior? And it is, again, simply to each time we make those decisions to ask ourselves, are we following our own temptations, either consciously or unconsciously, or are we simply knowing and then following his commandments. That requires that we know them. That godliness, mean, godliness means that we follow first knowing and then doing his commandments. And then secondly, we're content. And we know that this sacrifice is the price, the only one that need be paid. And so it kind of takes the pressure off of us. And it means that if I follow my Savior's commandments, if I show the love and reflect his love to the world, and simply follow his commandments and remember that it's not up to me, it was all up to him, things in my mind become a lot simpler. And so I would encourage you as you come around this table this morning, as you hold the body and the blood of our Savior, that you just simply examine yourselves and pray, as I will, that each decision I make today and in the coming week and for the rest of my life be within the will of a loving creator.